Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Who Dares Wins Podcast. I'm your host, JP, and I am currently watching game one of the NBA Finals. And uh, you can probably hear it in the background. Um, not a good showing of the uh, Dallas Mavericks today. Um, I think they're going to bounce back. I mean, um, Kyrie, Kyrie doesn't look happy. But um, I believe, you know, they're going to bounce back and, and uh, learn from this, learn from the different ways that, like, Boston has strategized against Kyrie and Luka. And, um, and, and yeah, I think it's going to be fine. I mean, right now, it's a blowout. Boston's blowing out the Dallas Mavericks. Um, but it, it, it got me thinking, right? So, like, just the other day, the Rangers got knocked out of the Stanley Cup playoffs because – um, the Florida Panthers are just so good. They're just so strong. And, um, and yeah, so they got, they knocked them out. And so the Florida Panthers are in the Stanley cup versus the Edmonton Oilers and the Edmonton Oilers have Connor McDavid. Some are saying that Connor McDavid is like, like one of the best hockey players in the league, uh, right now. I mean, guy has moves similar to like Wayne Gretzky. Um, you know, PK Subban was saying that he's Connor McJesus, <laughs> you know, cause it reminds me of, um, um, well, he's kind of speaking to, um, how people used to describe Michael Jordan and that Michael Jordan was like, uh, um, black Jesus, you know, Larry Bird said in, um, one of the playoff games from, um, a while ago, Years ago, years ago, our really young Michael Jordan. And uh, Jordan, I think, dropped 66 on the Boston Celtics. And ultimately, the Boston Celtics won that series. But, I mean, Jordan put the league on notice. And um, and so, like, um, sorry, I'm, like, eating and, like, <clears throat> I got, I don't know, indigestion or something. And, um... And so, like, Larry Bird was in an interview, and they interviewed him, and uh, and he was saying that he's like, God came down to earth and um, in the form of a basketball player <laughs> in Michael Jordan. And he was just like, you know, Jordan is like the god of basketball. Um, others said he was like Black Jesus, um, like um, I think John Hot Rod Williams. Um, from the Cleveland Cavaliers and, and others um, because in the, in the years that would come after that, Michael Jordan would play against the Boston Celtics, the Cleveland Cavaliers, you know, and then he would go on his run um, where he, in some of those series, he lost to the Detroit Pistons uh, twice, I think, or at least once. Um, and, uh, and then he would come back with a stronger Scotty Pippen, a stronger Horace Grant, you know what I mean? Or like a rookie Horace Grant or whatever. And, and you know, and he, and he would just do it. He would, Jordan would take over the league. He'd win his first title against the Los Angeles Lakers. Then he would win against the Portland Trailblazers. Then he would win against the Phoenix Suns. And then he would win, he would step out and then he would come back. And when he came back, he won against, um, Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Suns again? Um, and then the Utah Jazz and the Utah Jazz. And so, you know, I'm watching the NBA Finals and I'm just thinking like, man, like Kyrie Irvin, what an incredible season. But I think what's also remarkable is that the Boston Celtics had Porzingis. Porzingis was originally drafted by the New York Knicks. That was the one thing that Phil Jackson brought to the New York Knicks when he was the general manager. And uh, he brought um, the Knicks, uh, Christophs Porzingis. And then Porzingis would be traded to, um, I don't know, he just got traded, uh, maybe Washington or one of those or Dallas. And then from there, he was sent to the Boston Celtics. And at the boss with the Boston Celtics, he's like really, really arrived. Like I think like the major reason why 
the 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 Celtics were so good this season. They're they're like they won the most games. Uh, they won the most games at home. I think um, most three pointers. Like you know, good on both sides of the court, offense and defense. And a big reason for that is because of Porzingis. Porzingis offers like you know defense in the paint. You know, so he's like blocking shots. He's getting rebounds. And he's offering like length uh, as a tall player, which is sort of like eliminating that like driving to the basket and getting free, free easy layups. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, they're losing by twenty one points. Um, but yeah, I thought you know I would record because you know as I'm watching this, I'm definitely I'm rooting for the Dallas Mavericks because I just I want to see Kyrie Irving win another championship and um and i love luca and um the celtics are playing great it's gonna be a good series i think this series is gonna go seven games um i think this game has no indication at all of how this series is gonna go because yeah because i mean honestly nowadays like basketball is crazy like there's no like close games. There's no like, I mean, there are, but like not really. It's kind of crazy. Like you could be down by eight points, but that don't mean nothing. You could be down by 18, that could be nothing. Like, like the Dallas Mavericks got it down to eight points from like a 20 point lead. They got it down to eight. And ultimately, Boston, you know, uh, you know, got it together and blew them out. Blew them out. But, um, yeah, man. I think it's going to be a good series. It's going to be a good series. Uh, I also wanted to talk to you guys about um, the New York Rangers. So the New York Rangers got knocked out by the Florida Panthers. But the Rangers had a really, really good team. And um, Igor Shesterkin, such a good goalie. Such good goalie. I mean... Honestly, like you can't really be deep into the playoffs in the Stanley Cup if you don't have a good goalie. Like if you just don't have if you don't have a good goalie, like you're going down. You're going down. Shesterkin had defended against so many shots on goal that it's incredible that the Rangers didn't lose by like multiple scores. Um the majority of that that series. Um but for whatever reason, I mean, we know the reason. The Panthers were better. Panthers were better. Ba- Panthers are now in the Stanley Cup. They're going against the Edmonton Oilers. But, I mean, the Panthers are no joke. These these guys are a good team. Kachuk is really good. Um, 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 Reinhardt, really good. I mean, he's a top power play. Um, uh, has the most power play goals in the Stanley Cup um, playoffs. Um yeah, I mean, it's nuts, man. It's a lot of really, really, really good hockey. Their goalie is amazing, Bobos- Bobovsky, I think. Um, he's really, really, really good. Um, the Oilers are going to be okay. You know, we'll see. I think ultimately the Edmonton Oilers is going to rely on Connor McDavid. And um, as they rely on Connor McDavid, um, yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. But I just wanted to say, like, you know, hey, the Rangers had a good season. They had a really good season, honestly. I mean, they have really put up a lot of points, a lot of wins, um, really good defense, really good power play. But when they went against the Florida, plant, Florida, the Florida Panthers, um, they really had an answer. They had an answer for that for that power play. I mean – you know what you're gonna say? I mean, like they got opportunities. They had opportunities, and they they weren't able to score. They weren't able to score. Kreider got shut down. You know, Zabinajad got shot down. Panarin was nowhere to be found. I was wearing my Panarin jersey, and I was just like, "Where is he? Where are you? <laughs> where where is Panarin?" Um, but um, special shout out to Lafaniere, um, Lafi. Um, he threw up many goals, many goals. Panarin did have some assists. Um, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, 
Shesterkin had tons of saves. Um, I get ultimately we just come back next season. I mean, just come back next season. I mean, like, what are you gonna do? You just gotta do it, right? You just gotta do it. You know, I mean, the the, the Mavericks game just ended, and they're just gonna have to do it too, right? They're just gonna have to do it. I mean, just come right back, you know, regroup and come back and uh, win game two. And um, but I think ultimately this series is going seven games. And uh, and yeah, this is all I really wanted to say. We're just gonna talk about some sports a little bit. And um, yeah, and I'll be I'll be back with you some more um, soon. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, see you around. Peace.